Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been about a month since I posted anything. I apologize. Um, I feel like I do this every video now. Um, so I'm not going to go through the same excuses that I always have. Uh, but I've been holding on to this order for a while now. I've been actually holding on to a lot of orders for a while now. Um, well, not a lot, but a few. And um, this one's from Midnight Daydream, and I really wanted to get this up so I can go ahead and start melting. So I got this order, oh my goodness, I don't even know, to be honest with you. I think it was actually before my birthday, which was July 25th. No, it was right after, because he did, he did the restock July 24th, because I remember I commented saying, oh my god, like all my favorite scents right before my birthday. So um, yeah, it was from July 24th, so that's kind of insane. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So he sent me a really sweet birthday card. Um, happy birthday, Tara. And then on the end, our, the card looks like this. <laughs> so cute, basic birthday, your birthday. Um, and then he just wrote a really sweet note. Tara, I won't be able to fit enough words into this card to thank you for all of you done for me. I hope your special day is amazing. I'm forever grateful for your friendship. I know when I need to smile, I can just go watch one of your haul videos. You are a kick-ass human being, Tara. Keep on doing you, Harrison. And then he also gave me a 10% off code um, for my next order, which was so, so sweet. So Harrison, seriously, thank you so much. All right, so let's get on to the order. So I will go ahead and do samples first. So the first one here is in Sugar Plum. I don't know if I like this one or not, to be totally honest. I'm not normally like a super fruity fan, and that one is crazy fruity. <laughs> uh, the next one here is Pumpkin King, Homemade Pumpkin Pie, and Black Magic Apothecary. I think I remember seeing this on the website, actually. I'm actually kind of disappointed that I didn't get this one. I honestly didn't think I would like it because I just kind of assumed that like the Black Magic was going to be like patchouli or something. And it, honestly, it might be. But it goes kind of nice with the pumpkin, so I don't know. I think I'm going to save this one for like um, the middle of fall or something and try it out then because I'm actually kind of curious about it. All right, then the last one that I got is strawberry pistachio pound cake, which is roasted pistachio and strawberry pound cake. So this one intrigued me just because I've never seen strawberry and pistachio together. It smells actually pretty good. I'm not a big fan of the strawberry pound cake scent. I know, sue me. <laughs> But it's pretty good. It's not bad. Um, I'm just not crazy about that scent. Which I know a lot of people are going to be like, what? Like you love strawberry and you love uh, pound cake bakery scents. I don't know what it is about that one. It's just something different that I'm not crazy about. Okay, so I did go ahead and get the Haunted Carnival samplers. I got two of them, as usual. So this is what they look like. And this was huge when he did it last year. So everybody was so, so, so excited for it to come back, me included. So let's go ahead and get started. There's six cents in there. So the first one is Fortune Teller, which is Crushed Leaves, Amish Kitchen, Kitchen, Kitchen Palo Santo, and Toasted Marshmallow. It's not a terror video unless I screw up something. <laughs> um, this one's okay. Not crazy about the crushed leaves, to be honest. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of like super, super woodsy, but then also kind of floral. And I'm not crazy about those types of scents, but that's okay. I'm sure I'll, I'll find somebody that likes it. Next one is Dreadful Donut, which is Cranberry Apple, Pumpkin, Glazed Churro Donuts, and Candy Corn Cupcakes. That one sounds good. Ooh, yeah, I really like this one. See, and now I have not smelt this since the first day I got it, so I don't really remember any of these. But I love the Cranberry Apple and Pumpkin together. That is really good. Now, normally I'm not a huge cranberry person, but that one smells really, really nice. He blended that super, super well, I have to say. Um, and then we have pumpkin apple corn fritters, pumpkin cheesecake, caramel kettle corn, and apple fritters. I love apple fritters. You guys all know this. Oh my goodness, this one's my favorite so far. The apple fritters and the, and the kettle corn and the pumpkin cheesecake, you get all of it. It is so good. It's really, really strong too. Um, I will say though, it's a little bit spicy, not crazy, because I could definitely handle it. Um, but if you don't like crazy spicy, you may not like that one. Um, so just a heads up. I think it's really good though. 
All right, next one is Haunted Fun House, which is Zucchini Bread, Marshmallow Bakery, and Maple Toddy. You know what? I have not seen a Maple Toddy scent in I don't know how long. Ooh, this one's my favorite. <laughs> this one's my favorite now. Oh my goodness. I love the Marshmallow Bakery. I forgot exactly what's in it. But it's amazing with that zucchini bread and the maple omg love that one then we have casper's concession which is white fudge dipped oreo sugar corn pudding and blueberry pancake bites i remember seeing this one on the website and i was like okay that sounds different it's good the blueberry pancakes i will say it's not my favorite blueberry scent in the world but you definitely get the blueberry pancakes, the sugar corn pudding. Maybe a little bit of that Oreo. Maybe I'm not, I can't really pick it out that well right now, but we'll see when it's uh, warmed up, I guess. All right, then the last one in here is Freaky Fried Reese's, which is Twinkies, Turtle Cheesecake, and Peanut Butter Buttercream. I love peanut scents. Oh my goodness, yes. That smells literally like a Reese's. That is crazy. Even with the Twinkies, it smells legit like a Reese's. That is so funny. Okay, so that was that sampler. That's driving me nuts. I need to put that up there. <laughs> all right, the rest of the stuff that I got is all just um, regular scent shots. Oh, he sent me a lollipop too. He always sends these during um, fall time. So we have the lollipop. Okay. First one here is Raspberry Crumble Cappuccino, Raspberry Jam, Pie Crust, and Espresso. So to be honest, this raspberry scent is the one that I love. I don't know what kind of oil it is. I don't know where it's from. I don't know what it's called, but I love this raspberry scent. It's the same one that the Bathing Garden uses, and I'm pretty sure Dessa uses it as well. And it is the only raspberry scent that I like. Um, with the Espresso, it's so good. It literally smells like a raspberry and um, like real espresso. And I work with espresso every day, so I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that smells so good. He did a really good job on that. All right, next is brown sugar biscotti, brown sugars, and almond biscotti. Ooh, this one's good. It wasn't what I was expecting, though. I think it's just the almond that's kind of like throwing me off because I was expecting to smell like mostly brown sugar. Yeah, that's actually really nice. I'm normally, again, not crazy in almond scents, uh, but I decided to pick it up just because it was mixed with like brown sugar and biscotti, so I thought that would be okay. Um, reason being is because almonds smell like cherry to me and I'm not a big cherry scent person, so that's why I'm saying that. All right, next up is Coffee is the Key, Caramel Coconut Coffee Creamer, Palo Santo, and Freshly Brewed Coffee. So Caramel Coconut Coffee is my thing. I say this all the time. I have been drinking it for probably five years now. That is what I get from Dunkin' all the time. So whenever I see a Caramel Coconut Coffee scent, I have to get it. Oh my God, this is amazing. I mean, I knew it would be because um, he has a Caramel Coconut Coffee scent, I think, um, or was it the caramel f or the coconut frappuccino? I don't remember. Um, but that smells amazing with the Palo Santo and then added fresh brewed coffee on top of that. Oh, so good. I love coffee and Palo Santo scents together. I think it is such a good blend. All right, next up is Zucchini Butter Brickle Bakery, Sugar Cookie Bakery, Zucchini Bread, and Butter Brickle. Obviously, this is amazing. Absolutely no complaints on this. God, the Butter Brickle is so good. Butter brickle and zucchini bread is like my go-to. Like if I don't know what I want to melt, I normally grab something with butter brickle in it because I just can't get sick of it. Same thing with zucchini bread. All right, country general store. This is like taking a step into a country gift shop, a warm and comforting aroma. So I knew there was going to be cinnamon in this because normally with country store scents, a lot of vendors have them. There's always a cinnamon type scent in there. This one is very cinnamony. It smells like red hot cinnamon to be honest. I'm not crazy about this one. I can't do heavy cinnamon like that. Um, to this day though, I feel like I still haven't found a great, <clears throat> excuse me, like a great realistic country store, gift shop, um, craft store type of scent. There's some that have definitely come close, um, but I still haven't found one that's like 
you know, that is realistic, I guess is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. <laughs> All right, moving along, we have Marnie Piper, which is Marshmallow Fluff, Cider Lane, and Woodsy Earthy Bass Notes. So this one was kind of another uh, wild card for me, if you say. Um, just because of the woodsy, earthy bass notes, I wasn't sure how that was going to go. But I love it. Oh my god, this Cider Lane with the woodsy, earthy whatever is so freaking good. And I think he did a really good, or like it was a really good move to put the Marshmallow Fluff in there as well. Just because it tones down the woodsy, earthy. So that is amazing. Love that one. All right, um, Choco Chip Zucchini Bread, Zucchini Bread, and Chocolate Chip Pancakes. I love chocolate zucchini bread scents. I can melt them all day, every day. Oh, this is so good. I love who's zucchini bread, too, obviously. Um, the Chocolate Chip Pancakes is really good. I prefer more of, like, a hot chocolate type of scent. So I really like Count Chocula mixed with, like, a marshmallow fluff or something. But that one is still really good. Okay, Circus Cookie Blizzard, Frosted Circus Animal Cookies, and Midnight Ice Cream Parlor. I wanted to talk about this one because I do not like animal cracker scents. Whether I think it's called Animal Cracker, Animal Cookie, whatever it is, I don't like it. So I've always bypassed this one because I thought it was the same thing. I was talking to a vendor and she had asked me if I had tried that scent before. And I said, no, I don't like Animal Cracker scents. And she's like, no, it's different. It's different. And I'm like, are you sure? Because I thought it was the same thing. And she goes, no, it's completely different. So that's why I picked this one up. And it's pretty good. I mostly smell the Midnight Ice Cream Parlor because I know that oil of his and I know what it smells like. So I don't get much of the Frosted Circus Animal Cookies. Um, however, it's not bad though. So I don't know. I guess I'll see when I warm it up just because I don't know what I'm really supposed to be smelling. All right, next, That Fall Feeling, Pumpkin Cream Cheese Roll and Birthday Cake Frosted Cinnamon Rolls. I love cinnamon roll scents. This one is bomb. This really smells like pumpkin and cream cheese. Pumpkin spice, cream cheese with the cinnamon rolls. That is on point. Oh my God, that is going to be such a good, like cozy, comforting fall scent. Then I got maple donut bar, maple syrup, and coffee cake. So I wasn't sure about this one also. And I know you guys are like, what? Like you love those types of scents. Sometimes I don't like coffee cake just because it is so strong on the cinnamon. But this one's not at all. I mostly get maple syrup. And it's crazy because it legit smells like actual maple syrup. And I've only had that from like one or two other vendors that I was like, whoa. Like that literally smells like real maple syrup. Okay, next one is Pumpkin Pecan Bear Claws, which is self-explanatory. Bear Claws and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Of course, I had to get this one. I mean, I would buy anything with Bear Claws in it. <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. Now, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, I feel like, is a harder scent to blend with just because it's so strong and it overpowers everything. It's definitely the dominant one, but I do get Bear Claws in there as well. Then I grabbed wedding cake or wedding cookie smoothie, wedding cake, sugar cookies, and vanilla smoothie. I don't know why I had such a hard time reading that. <laughs> so this one's okay, but um, I don't know. There's something off about it. I think it's just because those three scents are normally pretty light, so it kind of has like a waxy after note, if you guys know what I mean. So I'm really not crazy about that one. Next is Bakery Bliss, Amish Trussel Loaf, and Baker's Dozen. I forgot what Baker's Dozen is. I'm sorry. This is so good, though. I love Amish, like any Amish scents. Amish um, quilt, Amish friendship bread. I love this. That cinnamon note is like a real cinnamon note. Not red hot cinnamon, not like a bear claw cinnamon, but like real actual cinnamon. Like cinnamon sugar that you put on your toast. That's what that reminds me of. All right, the last thing that I got is in Strawberry Deluxe, which is Strawberry Smoothie, Salted Caramel, and Vanilla B. Noel. This one intrigued me just because it had strawberry and salted caramel in it, so I thought that was a little bit different. It's pretty good. I don't know how I feel about the strawberry, though, just because it has kind of like that greenery note to it, which I'm not crazy about, so I'm not sure about that one. Um, but for the most part, I'm like super happy with everything that I got. I am very glad that I ended up getting two of the, um, 
Haunted Carnival samplers. I really, really like them, so I'm glad that I got two. Um, but that's everything. I know I have been super sucky at posting videos, and um, I've been a little bit more active on Instagram, but it's just that I'm not really buying, so I don't really have a whole lot to show. I do have one or two orders. I ended up putting them away just because I thought I wasn't going to show them because, to be totally honest with you, they're nothing special. Um, but I feel like even if it's an order that I don't love, I should still show it just so you guys know, hey, like maybe I shouldn't order from this person. Um, one of them was actually super disappointing because I used to order from them all the time and then I realized that they were open and I placed an order and it was not good <laughs> not good at all um and then there was another one that was recommended to me that was a new to me vendor it's not that it was bad it just you know not something I'm like oh my god I have to show this so uh that's why I didn't show that one and I did get a body care order in as well that I also put away already um I wasn't sure if anybody would be interested in body care just because that's not something I typically show I normally stay towards the wax I know I've done body care in the past um but again it wasn't something I was like oh my god I have to show my subscribers this I really want them to see it so you know, it is what it is. I do have a ton of empties, but you guys know me in the empties videos. I feel like they drag on and on and on, and I continue to repeat myself because I melt a lot of the same stuff. Um, but I will do an empties video soon. Now, what I also wanted to talk about, I know I said this in another video that I'd be doing a Q&A video. Um, and I did post about it on Instagram, and I also made a community post here on YouTube. Um, so if you guys have any questions for me, leave them down below and I will make a video and answer as many as I can. I was planning on doing either a loaf chopping video or an organization video. Um, as I'm organizing things or as I'm doing the lows, I can go ahead and read and answer questions. Um, I can also do both depending on how many questions I get. I'm really not sure. Uh, but other than that, that's about everything. Um, I also wanted to talk about the background really quick. Um, as you can see, I did get a new fountain. It's a lot smaller, so you guys can actually see like the whole thing. And I did go back a little bit to the Zen background because this was definitely the favorite background that I've ever done. I always got a ton of comments saying how relaxing and pretty it was. So we started calling it the quote unquote Zen background. <laughs> uh, so I put that back up for you guys. Um, I am planning on maybe getting a few more live plants and uh, maybe like a table runner or something just because I really don't love that you can see through the table. Not that you can see anything down there, but I just don't really like it. I think it looks weird and the glare is kind of annoying. So that's going to be it. Ew, there's a fly. Please go away. Thank you very much. Okay, so that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will catch you in my next one. Please stay safe, sane, and healthy. Bye, guys.